Now I'm going to be tying this midge pupa here. This is a basically what I call rough midge pattern. Now the only difference between these two flies is that I've used a fluorescent red, in this case number four glow bright floss for the underbody and then wound the pearl over uh, and then I've used for the darker one the number three which is obviously you can see is a darker red. This is probably the most popular one being the, the darker colour but there's times where the fluorescent so is certainly worth having. Now it's a very simple midge pupa to tie. Hook choice is up to yourself. The one I'm using is a straight hook. You can use a curved hook. Uh, I'm using the competition heavyweight from Full Mill, size 10. 10s and 12s are two main sizes, especially I imagine the, the locks in the lakes of the UK and Ireland. Now, basically we start with floss at the head, wind down, trim away the, the waist. Now the way down it's best to tie in something, so I'm using a UTC wire in black, this is a small. Just wind down. It's a simple fly to tie. Let's get our pearl, our pearl is number 12. And catch this in. Now to get it to start better, what we can do is cut it into a point. So we've got the cut end at the top. Just catch that. And then nice and tight wind our thread up. Or our floss in this case. This point here, just to do looking two thirds of the way up. Now to get a better contact, the best way to do it is to wind over in this case, this is some super glue, it's the full mill super glue. It comes with the brush so it's easy to apply. You want the cut end to basically lead up and then we just work our way up. There we go, a couple of turns just to hold. Trim away the waist. Bring our wire up. Now you want looking for a like a really a segmented type body so you're looking for about six, seven turns of the wire to there, and then come up with the thread. That's a the floss. Just then focusing, winding it towards the eye. Just keep going. Now I'm keeping the, the wire on the side. Bend and break it off. You need to cut when you do that. Then what we want to do is change to, I'm using a uni thread in, in black just to colour up the thorax, so we basically start at the eye and then we come over trim away both the waist end and the floss Now as we wind down, leave about, say, about a mil and a half or so Then you want to get some, this is dyed, sunburst, goose by it Bring two out, just make sure they've lined up, turn them away. And then what we want to do is line up, just trim it. It's quite sure you cut the corners off. Quite hard to show this. I'll show you once I've cut the corners off, as they say. You can do that once you've tied them in, or you can do it before you can tie them in. It's up to yourself. Just make sure they're lined up. I like these to come into about, about say, just about the last turn of the, the rib, so you can see them. Just hold them one either side, take your thread up, just check. So you've got your red coming through, your orange, so you've got all the aiming points that you would like to see in a midge pupa. Trim that away. You can tear these off and just trim them away, it's up to yourself. Then I've got Glow Bright, this is the, basically it's the yarn, it's a white, number 16 is white. I'll put that in here. And then we'll head length away, just tie it forward, take it down to the bias, trim this just above, between the, so halfway between Goose by it's just so that it gives a wee impression of the midge at the back, the gills, and we've got the gills at the front. And then I've got a dubbin here, 
which is a mix of black rabbit and seals fur. I've blended them together so it dubs really easy. So we lightly dub it on and spin, get your fingers away. It'll get hairy as they say. We can take a turn in the front if we want, move what we don't need. What I'm doing here is pushing some up and then doing a turn, so like the way you'd fold back a, or throw back a hackle fibre and you wind it so we could then tidy up. You want it rough and then it's quite simple. Varnish is just to put the varnish onto the thread about a centimetre from the eye. Don't want to get any further than that. Just lift your yarn out of the way, whip finish. And then trim away with thread, trim away with excess yarn and give it a breather, we just tap it like that. And there we are, it's your rough midge. Let's roll this back with your fingers. Got a lot of movement, you can reduce some of the, the fibres here if you want, keep them long, or you can take them some away. But there we go, simple midge pupa. There we are. So you can tie plenty of them, but when you turn that light, you see how the red starts to come through. You've got the shine when it's dark, especially the red comes through. All the type of colours that you're looking for in the midge pupa. You see, really simple to tie, and you can fill your box really quick. So I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.